today's video, I want to talk to you guys about my dive buoy, the one that I specifically use, the way that I kind of have it rigged up, might give you guys some ideas of how you want to rig your dive buoys. I think it'll be a really helpful video, um, so let's get right into it. So I'm out here in Kaka Bay Beach Park here on the North Shore of Oahu right down the road from my house. I did record a video here a few months ago talking about spear fishing gear, much like the video we're doing today. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Talk about my dive buoy that I use. So before I talk about my dive buoy, I wanna talk to you guys real quick about why it's important to have a diving buoy when you guys are out there. So first off, it's actually illegal to go diving or spear fishing without a buoy. Even if you guys don't have a weapon with you, a three prong or a spear gun and you're out there and submerging underwater, you are required by law to have a buoy with this diving flag attached to it. Obviously this is important because there's a lot of boaters and jet skiers here in Hawaii. Even if you guys don't think you're gonna need one because you're not going that far out, if there's somebody that needs to be rescued close to shore, those boats are gonna come in, those jet skis are gonna come in, and that's why you guys always need to go spear fishing or diving with a diver down buoy. So if you're diving with a group, you guys aren't required to have multiple dive buoys, one per person. You guys can use one dive buoy as long as you're staying within that same vicinity. But I do recommend you guys all have your guys' own buoys, especially if you guys are gonna be separating. It's easy to get separated when you guys are out in the water. So for safety reasons, if you're diving with a buddy or a group of friends, please try to bring your own buoy. But again, it's not required by law, although I do highly recommend it. Another good reason to have your guys' own diving buoy is that you can rig it up how you want it. You can treat your guys' buoy as an extension of yourself, whether you put another dive knife on top, whether you put another kui, or use it as something to carry you guys' extra three prong or spear gun or a friend's spear gun. Or you guys can also put a whistle or like a waterproof case where you carry your phone. However you guys feel fit, um, as long as it's not bogging down your buoy, you guys can use that as an extension of yourself to put extra equipment. So yeah, I know that's kind of a lot, but let's go right into my buoy, the one that I use and how I kind of have it rigged up. So this is the dive buoy that I use personally. This is an aim right. This is my third or fourth buoy that I've been through, but I've had this buoy right here for probably about five or six years. Um, majority of my diving career, I've been able to rely on this one. And um, yeah, I'm not too sure if they sell it on market still. Um, you would have to reach out to aim right to see if they have it but really high quality material on this dive buoy. It's lasted me forever, and I'll kind of give you guys some details on how, um, how the layout is and how I have it rigged up. First off, the most important thing is the dive flag. It's taped up right over here. You guys can see that. And it can kind of come off over here, but the tape in this little bar, this plastic piece, has it tied down to this line right here, so I can just pop it in to the slot. And there we go, now I have it rigged up. So when I'm not using it, I can take it out and just tuck it right back inside so that it's nice and convenient. I can also roll up the flag, but I usually just kind of keep it open. Maybe I'll fold it a couple times, but yeah, that's kind of how the flag works. So another great thing about this buoy is that it's an inflatable. So you guys see when it's deflated, how easy it is to fold up and it's just takes, it doesn't take up a lot of space. So when I'm transporting this gear, it's really efficient. And this is how we blow it up right here. So as you guys can tell right here, there's this little valve that is just, I don't know, it's kind of just all corroded. It's always been like that since I've had the buoy. I'm sure I could clean it up and get it working again and kind of treat this thing like a blue water float, which I think it kind of was. But what I do is just pop this thing off right here and I just blow right into it. So now that it's fully blown up, I just pop this thing right over again. And I know this thing seems kind of finicky and that the air will come out, but I've never had issues with it. And it's got a little slot right here. I can just tuck this thing back inside and I'm good to go. In the back right here, there's a stainless steel clip, which I can put other stuff on top, but there's a little rope that's attached to this tuna clip or shark clip, whichever one you want to call it. And these are pretty much um, guaranteed to lock down your guys' gear. I lost a spear gun uh, last year during a spearfishing tournament. I don't know if you guys seen that video, but it's because I put it at the end of this little hook right over here. I wasn't using the clip properly just because I was being lazy and I wanted to just kind of hurry up. But I put the clip right here and it slipped right out. But how you properly use it is if you close it up like this or open it up, however you want to call it, you slip whatever you need to on top of here and then it'll lock off right there. So that thing is not going anywhere once you guys have it clipped on. 
and I'll show you guys what I use it for in just a second. So on the bottom right here is a pocket where you're gonna put a dive weight, the same weight that you have on your weight belt. A two pound one works fine with my um, buoy, so if you have a buoy similar, that'll probably work. You might wanna experiment with a three pound one, but I took it out obviously just so it's more convenient to use for the video. But you need to have a weight inside of an inflatable buoy because this thing is really light and can skip and roll on the surface. So the buoy is not serving its purpose by having the flag upright if you don't have something to anchor it down in the water. But on the top of the buoy is the same stainless steel bar with the same rope attached to it. But this time on top of the tuna clip or the shark clip is this yellow buoy that you can pretty much find at any diving shop. But what this is for is to keep your guys' extra weapon, whether it be a three prong or a spear gun. What you'll do essentially is you'll stick the tip of your spear gun through this little buoy right here so that it's gonna stay upright and you can clip the back end of it to the clip in the back right here, which is why I have it on either side. So this is really helpful because if you normally just clip your spear gun or something on the reef, it's just gonna hang down and fall down towards the ocean floor which can damage your guys' spear gun and obviously create more drag. The whole purpose behind diving gear and rigging it properly is so that you guys can be as safe and be as efficient as possible. And just having a spear gun or a three prong dangling on the reef is not that safe, neither is it that efficient. So um, if you guys can, pick up one of these yellow diving buoys to make sure you guys are keeping your guys' extra weapon um, afloat when you guys have it. It also gives you guys buoy a little bit more buoyancy um, in case of an emergency or something. So what we went over so far is where I put my dive flag, how the dive flag is kind of rigged up, um, how I pumped it up, the clip on the bottom, the anchor on the bottom with the diving weight, and the clip on the front as well as the dive buoy. And there's also kind of a nice little handle on the top that I forgot to mention that does come in handy sometimes. The last thing on here is the quick release valve for the air. That way I don't have to manually push out all the air. I can kind of just push this see little yellow button down and pretty much in about three to five seconds I release all the air from my buoy I'm just gonna clip it back up and then I can fold it up and I'm good to go this is a very basic way to rig up your guys's diving buoy obviously you can add more stuff sometimes I'll put a kui on top of here if I don't want to carry the fish on top of my normal body kui or I'll put an extra dive knife like this one right over here that I got from a subscriber this is actually a monstrous knife for spearfishing. And you just see how big this thing is. Sometimes I'll carry this with me if I want that extra layer of security. Having a huge knife like this will make any person feel a little more safe wherever they're going. So that's it for the dive buoy that I use and how I have it rigged up. If I can find the same exact one, I'll link it up in the description. But if not, I'll link up similar ones that you guys can check out as well as some relevant gear that I think may be very useful for you guys' own usage while you're going spearfishing or diving. In the next spearfishing gear episode, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the different tag lines that they have, the ones that I use, the one that I recommend, as well as the length that I recommend. So I'll see you guys in that episode. Shoots mahalo, see you later, goodbye.